Hi, this is Mrs. Bratcher here, and in this lesson, we're going to learn about different types of images, how to save them, how to crop them, and how to compress them. First, you have a GIF or GIF, and this is good for fast loading web pages only. There's not as many colors in this kind of image. If you want more colors, so a higher quality image that allows for a smaller file size, you want to go with a JPEG. And if you're interested in having a transparent background, meaning see-through, you want to go with a PNG. And there's some samples of these down here. To learn more about those formats, you just click here on this link and there is a visual that will kind of guide you through the different formats. As a web designer, you always want to keep your images organized in an images folder and you may have several images folders on your website so you want to put the images that you're using in the closest folder to that file that you're working in. All right, over here in our files task pane is where we're going to add our new folders. First thing that you want to do is add a folder to your my site which is your main folder. So I'm going to click here, right click, I'm going to say new folder and we're going to call it images. No capital letters, no spaces, not pictures, not pics, images. You're going to go inside of your review folder, right click on that folder, say new folder, and we're going to call this images. No capital letters, no spaces, not pics, not pictures. The next thing that's important to know is as a web designer, you cannot use images that you didn't get permission to use. So you either need to take the images yourself or find websites that allow you to reuse those images. So right here you can use this site to get some images and I've got that linked here as well. There's all kinds of options. Some of these might be blocked at school but morgue file is one that I really like and you can search for a topic. It will pop up with some images. Pick one that you like and there's an option to download the image right here. Once you download it, you want to open it in Photoshop. To get the image from my downloads folder into Photoshop, I just opened both, grab the picture and you can drag and drop it into Photoshop and it will open your image for you. When you're looking for images, you need at least one of each type, one PNG, one JPEG, and one GIF and you can create your own in Photoshop as well. When you save them it's really really important to avoid capital letters, try to keep it less than eight characters and avoid adding spaces to your file names. What I'm going to show you next is how to compress your photos. You always want to compress them down to a small size. The larger your photo is the longer people have to wait for it to load and your viewers aren't going to want to sit around and wait for a photo to load. So we're going to open all of your photos in Photoshop and we're going to crop all of them to 200 by 200 and then we're going to compress them. To crop, you're going to click on the crop tool. Then up here I'm going to change the number from 300 to 200. And move this around to get just the part of the picture that I want. Double click. We'll zoom back into the normal size, which is right here. Then I'm going to click the Move tool and save it. Remember the rule for saving? We're going to put all of these in our review folder. I put this in my My Site review folder images, and I'm going to name it sunset, no capital letters, no spaces. Instead of a PSD, which is Photoshop, I'm going to make this a JPEG and then choose save. This is where compression comes into place. Right now it has it at a 5. Full size is 12, so that's 57 kilobytes. 0 takes it down to 24 kilobytes, but you'll notice it gets kind of pixelated and blurry. So I like to stay and around five or six, compress it as much as I can without it getting pixelated. 
and now I have our first picture. You're going to want to find one PNG and a GIF as well. You can use Google to find images. I'll show you a trick for that. Using Google Images, you can search for a picture, then click Search Tools, Uses, Usage Rights. If you are going to edit it, you want to choose Labeled for Reuse with Modification. If you're just going to save it and use it, just choose Labeled for Reuse. However, I trust the sites like morgue file better than these because you never know who may have added this photo and maybe they didn't appropriately label it. But it is an option for finding pictures that have been labeled for reuse. If you're not sure what kind of image you found, I just searched for GIFs. You can right click and choose save image as and it will tell you what type it is here. GIF. And that is saving and compressing images.